Hello there YouTube, this is Free Home Brew here to bring you a video about the Terraria World Generator. Uh, it's called Fractaria. Um, Sniper Cup and I made this uh, World Generator because we weren't satisfied with the features in, present in the uh, or original World Generator. Um, this generator will be freely available in the, on the website uh, down below. And um, it's, a, it's a generator uh, suit suitable for the extension Omnitool. So you can use this uh, generator as a plugin for uh, Omnitool. It's open source, so you can check that out. Um, the, the, the algorithms I've explained earlier on my channel, uh, such as the uh, Mage Generator and the Fractal Generator, are features of this world generator. Um, I'll first show you the um, original world uh, the Terraria will generate and then I'll explain what we disliked and how we've changed it uh, with an example from our world generator. So let's see. Um, I'm just going to move back to the spawn in both worlds. Yeah. Um, so this is the original world. Uh, as you can tell, there's there's a whole bunch of trees. Uh, where do you start? These sh these trees are pretty short. Um, and uh, yeah, you start on the surface. One of the main features this surface has is that it's basically a height field. Not everyone knows what a height field is, but I'll explain it shortly. Um, basically, if you take a line, such as the ground level line. In, and you move every point uh, in only one direction, I, uh, main, namely up, you get a height field. So there's no there's no cliffs, there's no overhanging uh, cliffs. It's all it's all um, relatively flat. You can see this is the case in in this world as well. So you can easily pass uh, this surface area. There's a whole bunch of forests. There's a whole lot of trees. Uh, there's not a lot of lakes. Um, this is another feature in this world generator. It, it puts blobs basically on top of the surface and then adds caves to it. Uh, there's a few deserts, there's corruption, the jungle, and th this is all rel relatively flat. So that's, that's pretty, pretty dull in our uh, opinion. So we wanted to make a more challenging map. This, this being the exception in this world uh, for, for a canyon. Uh, we wanted to make a more challenging surface area. So this is, um, let's see, this is basically the original world. Now what our uh, Omnitool plugin does, um, it, it first, it, it makes you, it spawns you in a well. This, is, this was part of the story we had going for this, um, this generator. Uh, it's also uh, an obsolete feature. Um, we, we, we put you in here because we didn't have the grass on the surface yet. So when you were spawned, there wouldn't be any grass on the surface. And to make it grow while you weren't looking, we put you in a well. So uh, while you were escaping using these wood platforms, um, the grass could grow. But we fixed this, but we still have this feature in. Um, let's see. One of the main distinctions between this uh, this generator and the previous one is that it won't just take lines and take take a point and move it upwards. It will uh, move it sideways as well. So uh, there's a feature video on my pro, uh, on my channel that's the that's the fractal generator, and we've used that pattern generator for the surface. So if you check that out, you you know what kind what kind of area what kind of surface area you can expect to find. Uh, now this world hasn't settled yet, so the water is kind of freaky uh, still. But um, you can tell that this world is vastly different from the other one. There's fewer trees, but there's more, there's, they're taller, so there's about the same amount of wood on the surface. Um, so when you find wood, you'll find uh, quite, a, quite a lot. But you won't you won't have to walk uh, through an entire forest. Um, 
caves are usually spread more evenly, but the, these have been spanned on this area, and this area has been left empty. Um, we also have deserts. This desert uh, is the only desert. It's a, it's a massive desert. Um, can be broken into several sections. Uh, usually it is. Um, but the main feature we wanted to change was the uh, overhanging cliffs. Now you can tell that this won't be easily passed. You can't you can't e you can't move pa across this uh, hill that easily because it's it has an overhanging cliff and these cliffs are what what make this ch uh, map more challenging. And this is not the only one. There's there's a whole bunch of them. So you can you can imagine crossing this canyon uh, might prove to be a challenge. Same with uh, this this canyon over here. And well, let's see. There's snow, and snow is planted above the harpy line. So there's a line somewhere in the world uh, at a certain height where harpies will spawn. And uh, from that height up, we've put snow on the world. So uh, tall mountains have snow on top. And when you find snow, you can also expect harpies. Uh, this is a feature I'll explain in another video. It's a volcano. Um, you can see the snow extends all the way to the uh, side of the world. And on the other side of the world, we've got the desert. Um, this is another feature I'll explain later in an upcoming video. Um, let's take this section for example. Now, if you come from all the way down here, you want to move up to this point over here. If you, um, if you can imagine playing this game and playing this surface, you can imagine uh, heading up towards the top of uh, of a local mountain, mountain. And thinking, wow, I've reached the top, um, and you'll pass, and you'll see, uh, you'll see more more hills are in your uh, future. The overall trend um, in this in this um, in this region is an upward trend. So you'll you'll continually move up, and when, just when you think you've reached the peak over here. And another peak over here, and another another peak over here. Especially consider, considering there's snow over here, you'll think, "Wow, I must be at the top of the level by now." And you'll be surprised by, uh, well, not anymore since this video is pointing it, but you'll you'll find that you'll have to come go up and up and up uh, all the way to the uh, edges of the world. So and these are these are all um, these are all cliffs. These are all massive cliffs you will have to pass, uh, along with canyons and holes, and, and it's it's just it's just not a pretty sight uh, if you expect something easy to pass. Um, well, that's basically the surface. Uh, this is our dungeon. Um, I'll explain that in another video as well. Um, I hope you guys found this video to be entertaining. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the, in the uh, comment section. I'll be uploading more videos about this Fractaria World Generator, uh, including one about how to use it, how to use Omnitool, and upcoming features and maybe the future of this project. Um, so if, you, if you're interested in this, uh, feel free to subscribe. Uh, you know what kind of content will be coming up. And uh, another another few videos are about the features in this in this uh, world generator. So the deserts will be explained, the um, the extra uh, the new more or less new biomes or new configurations of existing biomes, and uh, yeah, how it's all generated. So that was the video. Hope you all enjoy, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.